All right, so camp set up, pretty good spot. Just and gobble we got, again. We got birds gobbling over there, which is still public, and we had some birds gobble up here. So I don't know what you're thinking, Hunter. I kind of think we should go, even though they're more vocal. There's a camp. There's a camper down there. Yeah, that's a ways, but there's more room to work the other way. This way, yeah. yeah. So I think we're gonna change quick, and it's it's thundering. So it doesn't make any difference if we're here or if we're over here. So I'd rather be under some trees, but that's my thought. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that really. I don't really care. But <clears throat> I say we go up and we just go try to listen out there. <laughs> All right, we have several turkeys hammering just across the road, but to stay on the public, we have to go around go up to the like meadows over there and then go down up on that ridge top I think. It's beautiful country, we're gonna go try to get on them. They're hammering. It's gonna rain the rest of the night. I think it's only gonna get worse. We don't wanna be struck by lightning. And I think we're better off just to get off the hill, go back to camp, make sure everything's set up, get some good rest tonight, and then be back after them in the morning. I don't think they're gonna cooperate in this weather. It's too bad, but we're just a little too late. I think we're gonna jump off the hill and go back to camp. Steep, steep. I see a flock of them. How far? All the way across the road. Probably, it's probably that bird three quarters of a mile. I feel like there could be more. It's not the ones we were hearing. But, I see but that is some dirt. Now that we located those birds, we're gonna head down there. We think it's like a half mile or so down across the road. It's still public, so we're gonna try to keep eyes on them and get to them, try to get close. Hopefully, hopefully we can just keep eyes on them for a long time. If we have to stick with them all day, we can, so. Well, we started our day over there, worked our way up there, saw these turkeys that were down here somewhere up there we worked our way across up this way and then up this steep butte <coughs> until we're trying to get to the top so we can see them and get up there and then go find the turkeys down there <coughs> and then we'll be back where we started
Well, we have partial bad news. These turkeys are right there. And the public line is right there. And there's no possible way for us to really get down to even over here without the chance that they see us. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'll be completely honest. I whiffed. I uh, shot at that turkey earlier up there on the hill, and he can make a lot of excuses about it. But at the end of the day, I whiffed. It was too far of a shot. Probably shouldn't take it at all. I told you to take it, so well, we, on me. I was gonna shoot him when he was just standing there, and he was looking at us, and I probably would have killed him there, honestly. But instead, and then it was 50 plus yards. I mean, 55. I, I think this off. gun can probably do. Well, I thought for sure you could. We had shooting those XRs. He's got this extended, crazy choke. I thought for sure you thought had it that. would happen. I probably should have shot him when he was standing still. But then he spooked, turned around, and started walking away pretty quick, and I had to make a pretty split decision. And you know, I was sure I was like, kill him. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. I was like, you want me to try it? And he's like, yep. I'm like, all right. And so I had to shoot through a little bit of grass then at that point too, and he was even farther. So low percentage shot, probably shouldn't have <clears> taken it, but. At the end of the day, it all came down to our setup. Yeah, we, we I mean, we, we were too far gotten. back. We sh well, after we saw those two. We, just, we saw two hens go down, down below us, and he was walking the exact same path. We knew he was gonna do it too, but it had been a half hour since the last hen had even walked through. Yeah. And we had been set up for I mean, over an hour, probably all close to an hour and a half. Right. And so it just, we weren't expecting it to actually work out. And I uh, actually moved from our first setup. We we're just sitting in the ditch waiting. And I was like, I guess, I guess this turkey's about had it with his hands. And Trevor goes, he looks up he, and he sees it. He's like, no, he hasn't. He's right there. Get ready. <laughs> he's walking right at us. So at the end of the day, we should have had a better setup. Moved after those hands went through. But uh, we found some more on the road up here. They went back, had lunch, turkeys. and uh, yeah, part of the same group, still back up here, so we're going to go try to get back on them. We're in steep shit. This is crazy. This is the fence to hunters on the WMA, and I'm on the National Forest. And we know.
know that thanks to Onyx. So, this is really steep. We're just kind of walking the ridge tops here. Looking for turkeys and stuff. Well, we got some birds roosted on the back side of this public. Um, surprisingly, nothing's up over here on like the rest of the public. And there are some some way that way. We're not sure if they're on private or public, but basically we know where they are right now. Not all that close. So, uh, no use in staying around here too much longer. We have over a mile walk out. It's a pretty rough country, so we're gonna try to get back and get some rest. Alright guys, it is the second full day here in Nebraska and uh, we made it back up to the top of this nice main ridge top here finally and uh, we're going to listen for gobbles, probably head back to where we were all the way last night and uh, see if we can get them to work any closer onto the, onto the public and if we can't strike anything up over there we might end up back over where we were for uh, most of midday yesterday watching those birds, we know there's some more over there so see what happens. So those turkeys are very content on staying over there on the private and it kind of goes up and there's a big field out there so we're thinking that they really just want to be in the the sun right now i thought we were going to call that jake in but <clears throat> he kind of did what the other toms did by the sounds of it so i think we're going to wrap over and try to go see if we can get eyes on them and then Eventually, once it gets really hot, I feel like they're gonna come back in the shade here. So, we might be back to the spot. I just wanna see if we can see them. So, we'll see what happens. I don't think we could mess up opportunities like that as bad as we just did if we tried. I don't think we could duplicate that. We just, we ended up moving. Because we kept thinking we heard something to the right of us. But it sounded really far away. We only moved, what, 100 yards? Not even. And we crested the hill. And there's this big tom right up on top. So he spooked. He saw us. So we're twiddling our thumbs, feeling sorry for ourselves. And the gobbler back up on the private starts up again. There are a whole bunch of them up there, actually. All the birds start talking again. And so we just sat down and we bumped that gobbler. And we're calling for a couple minutes and we we're like this probably won't work we wanted to come around like we originally were going to, going to do because we didn't figure they'd come down and so as soon as we got here I called and they it just hammered literally right where we were sitting we probably missed them by less than a minute mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's crazy and then they all worked away so mm -hmm kind of frustrating but found some turkeys Nice job, dude. Nice job. Dude, what time is it? I don't know. 
It is we have almost been, two o'clock. We have been on these turkeys since fly down. We are over two miles line of sight from the truck. Probably a three mile walk in. And we have worked back and forth on that walk following this turkey all day. And I just can't believe it just worked out like that. I was set up on that tree and uh, couldn't swing the gun anymore to the right. He was gonna go out of my line of sight and I knew Trevor had the camera, not the gun, so it was gonna be a fiasco if he kept going to the right. I figured he was in range. It was probably a 40 yard shot, but this time it was open. I mean, I did. Yeah. I mean, I had it on steady and I just let her rip. I knew Trevor wasn't quite ready, so. He scared the crap out of me. I hope it's but I uh, wasn't gonna let him get away, so. Ran up there and here he Look is. Look at this Miriam. Beautiful Here, turkey in the sun a little bit. Good. Yep. You don't have to walk the top today because we're already on it. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I shaved his beard. You sure? Look at how clean it's cut. Something. This is a like he's a full this is gobbler. A I picked him up and I came back to Trevor and I said they don't call me Jake Slayer for nothing. But it's a full gobbler. I mean, you can see it. He's got spurs, first of all. Mm -hmm. And he's got a beautiful tail fan, none of those short feathers like, Look at like that. the Jakes have. Too bad I shaved his beard, but I really don't care. Oh, look beautiful. at that. That's incredible, These dude. These are beautiful turkeys. They're so cool. I can't believe you shot one. Thanks. Thanks <laughs> for being with me and calling him in. Yeah, no Just problem. Just as much your turkey as is mine. But, uh... That's awesome. Well, we got to take it. We're going to, at a pretty good spot, take some awesome pictures of him. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some scenic walks out, too. But, uh, man, I just can't believe that. First Miriam turkey, public land, northwest Nebraska. Lots of hunters out here. Quite a few turkeys. We've been on turkeys, though. Been on them. Been working hard for them. No one else is. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> a lot of friendly people. We're gonna have turkey for dinner tonight, Trevor. Yeah, might as well. All right. Let's throw that. Let's throw that tag on him. Yep. And uh, we'll probably head out of here. It's like two o'clock. I don't think anything else is gonna gobble. But I don't know. He gobbled all day long, but wasn't yeah. receptive to calls most of the day. He Where's must have it? just lost his hands. Must have. Well guys, after uh, watching the footage, I want to anticipate a little bit of future comments that I know we'll receive if I don't put this in the video, just because I know how YouTube works. Um, we're on a piece of public ground that's partly a WMA here in Nebraska and partly National Forest. And on those lines, pretty much all of those lines for sure, there's these old fences. And I, I speculate that's for uh, because I think you can run cattle in the National Forest. At least you can out in Colorado where we elk hunt. So I'm assuming it's the same thing here, and I think that's what the fences are for. This is just an old one, not the best example. But we've had to cross a whole bunch of them, and we're getting a little annoyed with them. But anyway, just wanted to address that to make sure we don't get comments saying I shot across the fence. And uh, just want to say we always know where we're at, thanks to the Onyx maps. And we know where we stand. We know what's public and what's private and what we can be on. So. No concerns there, just wanted to address that really quick. And hope we don't have to cross too many of these darn fences anymore. Okay. If we hunt anymore, we'll be sure to bring that to you. But I'm thinking this might wrap up the day by the time we get him cleaned up. We have to go to town for ice. And uh, might have just a little bit of time to roost some birds tonight. But other than that, I think it's gonna wrap up this video. So if you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to see the next one. We'll be out here for at least one more day. Hopefully we kill a bird tomorrow and we can go home and hang out with the family. So thanks for watching guys.